you tell us a bit about Le Petit Gâteau and uh, what got you into it? Sure, yeah, Le Petit Gâteau has been open for two and a half years now and uh, I had the opportunity from RACV. RACV is the Royal Automobile Club of Victoria and that's a company that's been here for more than 100 years and uh, opportunity came that to open a premium pastry, pastry shop in Melbourne and it, it, it is uh, two and a half years later, it's been quite successful and very constant and uh, right now I'm very happy with the outcome. Yeah. And what do you have to offer here? Uh, basically what to offer compared to the, like, to the competition in Melbourne is I want to, to show like a different finishing product. Uh, you know the Australian pastries are you know I would say uh, uh, not as advanced as France or, 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 or Japan or cities like New York or in Las Vegas so I mean at the small level I try to make something different and, and get inspiration from like Las Vegas and Paris and, and Japan. And what is that a part of the reason why you selected the Melbourne CBD as a location? Or? Uh, the location because the RECV City Club is here and that's the whole building is owned by RECV okay. and we had all these shops vacant and three years ago the pastry kitchen was a little bit small for the operation so I asked and I uh, get the, the chance and uh, took the opportunity to expand the kitchen to have more chefs and still do a premium product. And so how many staff do you have working here? Uh, I have uh, 12 chefs plus two stewards and four person who works in the front to, uh, for the shop plus we have trainees so we have a full-time 18 plus trainees and, and work experience we can go up to 25. Are there any um, cakes or desserts that are uh, the most popular? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we have the Black Beauty, that's uh, this one. It's a, a gluten-free cake because now we have a lot more demand for gluten-free and, uh, and uh, celiac and dairy products. Uh, so this one is a chestnut sponge, okay. uh, flourless, with a milk a dark chocolate mousse with a black currant uh, cream in the middle and a vanilla creme de lait. Yeah. And a little dome of a uh, chestnut. Uh, this one, is, uh, the new one, is the, a revised opera. The traditional opera cake is uh, coffee buttercream with ganache and a joconde. And this one is a pistachio chocolate with a raspberry buttercream, a thin layer of ganache in the middle and with a white icing. It's important that to, we, we bring different colors and texture and harmony in the showcase. And uh, just to have like and I wanted to make it a, a bit more summery, so fresh raspberries and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got that really nice balance of getting that real flavor yeah, hit yeah. as well as like, actually looking presentationally very yeah, nice yeah. as well. Uh, but for me, presentation is, I would say, quite, uh, I try to be minimalistic. Uh, min more is less for me. And mm -hmm. I don't want to crowd it with too many fruit and too many things. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the beauty of the shine of the icing, everything is homemade. So, yeah, yeah now we pride ourselves. And this one is my personal favorite. That's the uh, hazelnut milk chocolate milk ah, yes. So it's a uh, crunchy layer, a John Dujac creamy, uh, dacquas, and uh, milk chocolate chantilly. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's my personal favorite. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any uh, corporate and business orders, and what sort of cakes get yes, ordered the yes. most? We have a lot. Uh, because we are in the CBD at this end of the city, and we have a lot of corporate uh, lawyers, uh, a big company uh, just next door. We're surrounded by big buildings. And, uh, with like 40, 50 floors of offices and, and birthday parties and uh, so yeah. a lot of architects, lawyers, uh, solicitors, uh, so yeah, it's, it's quite busy. Oh, Plus we have 30,000 members from our CV that right. come, in, come here as well. So Well, that's a, that's a big clientele, yes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so can you tell us a bit about your personal background and experience? Sure, yeah. 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 Uh, I started working at 15, uh, then I did an apprenticeship for, for two years. Then after I work and did Le Compagnon du Devoir, which is a work association in France. So I worked in Strasbourg for a year. Then I worked in Brussels. Brussels, I worked for Pierre Macorini, which is a well-known chocolatier. Yeah. Then after I moved, uh, I went back to France where I, I, I had to do the army. Then I worked in Reims where they do the champagne. Then went to Bordeaux for a year still with the same association. So and then I finished with that uh, five, uh, five years after. Then I worked uh, for Club Med in Italy and I went to Israel as well. Wow. And uh, then after I uh, moved to California. Then I worked in Palm Springs for five years and well, I met my wife over there and so on. And uh, 
came back to Paris where I worked for a year and a half at the Plaza Athene. Mm -hmm. Plaza Athene is one of the, it's really the best hotel I ever worked. It's, it's really like a five star palace. It's really premium, mm -hmm. top, of, uh, top, top of the range. And uh, then decided to, to come to Australia yeah. and uh, did all my, my uh, permanent residency, all my immigration work. Yeah. And I, um, I came here. Uh, just in between, I worked at the Ritz Carlton in Boston. Oh, yeah. uh, just before coming back to France, and I've uh, been here for five and a half years now. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in traveling to all those countries, that's influenced you a bit in how you. Uh, about making yes, things? definitely. Because yeah. I, I still, uh, you know, with the internet, get to know what's what's around, who's opening, what's the trend, what's new. But I, I don't want to copy. So, by working in the U.S and here and been to uh, to Asia so I just recently came back from Japan yeah. and that was my second trip you know I try to because I don't want to copy so I, I you yeah. know I try to do different things and uh, and as well to make it uh, viable for the market where I, where I am here in Australia uh, there's there's no point of if I want to do some a uh, pretty full or cake like in Japan or Las Vegas or Paris if there's too much work and you know that's that's not viable so I have to keep it everything under the scheme and look at everything. Okay, is the ratio is you know prof profitability as well, but uh, uh, the production side as well. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna spend uh, six hours to you know to do a uh, four or five little cake. That that's not relevant and, and that, yeah. that, that's not the demand here. So it yeah. needs to be quite uh, productive, clean cut, sharp, good flavors. Yeah. Then yeah, the rest will follow. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have any other projects or business ideas or anything else that you? Yes. Want to yes. Get into? Uh, absolutely. Well, first, uh, the shop Le Petit Gâteau should be expanding. Uh, but as well, I'm I'm looking to open my own uh, pastry shop uh, early next year. Still in Melbourne, uh, no, not in the city, but uh, I'm looking to to expand to a lot bigger and even franchising. Uh, my idea will be very contemporary, very modern. Yeah. Uh, nothing like that in Melbourne so because as well I want to, to, to be different than the competition. Yeah. Uh, then of course I'm not gonna duplicate something like that because first it's RACV uh, even if I I was at the base of the project and getting the idea and created all the ranch but I want to make something different yeah that's, that's, it, that's exciting oh yeah not only copy and paste them down yeah uh, it keeps your mind creative exactly, exactly. Yeah. otherwise you just or otherwise you do the same product for 20 years and, and and you don't interest anyone. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so is there like one particular thing that you want your customers here to take away when um, you know they come and visit uh, yeah. Le Petit Gâteau? Um, you mean on my new shop or for here? Or? Uh, for this one here, yeah. For is, here? There, is there anything you want them to experience or feel? Or anything? Oh yeah, uh, often the feedback is, oh yeah, well amazing cake, great cake. And, and again, that, that's different what, what's offered around. So, and, and with that comment, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, because I want to be different, that, that yeah. 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 and uh, Melbourne is such a great market because it, it's really boiling, it's really evolving, it's really going up uh, for the past few years. It, it's really improving and uh, it's a lot better. Yeah. So, yeah. People travel more and, and know more about good food and, and are more demanding. Yeah. Which is keep us on our toes. Oh, That's absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much again for being yeah, interviewed yeah. for no, us. No, no, yeah. it's a pleasure. Okay. pleasure.